Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Rev Atlas and in this video we have an interesting camera comparison for you guys and that involves a Realme XT, the first smartphone in India to come with a 64 megapixel camera and the Lumia 1020 from Nokia which was a really great camera phone back in the day and still is to this day. So this was announced back in 2013 and it featured a 41 megapixel 1 by 1.5 inch sensor. Now Nokia has been known to create great camera phones and this was probably one of the last greatest attempts and to this day it remains a great camera phone uh, but some of the things have aged a bit like in terms of software processing but we'll see how it still stacks up to a smartphone from 2019 especially in terms of high megapixel count. So before we get started please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button if you happen to enjoy this video. Now let's get started. The Realme XT has a 64 megapixel 1 by 1.72 inch Samsung GW1 sensor with f1.8 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size. It also has three other camera sensors in the form of a secondary ultra wide angle 8 megapixel f2.2 camera with 1.12 micron pixel size and 1 4th inch sensor size. You also get a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. The Lumia 1020 has a single 1 by 1.5 inch 41 megapixel sensor with f2.2 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. On the XT, the images are given in 16 megapixels of resolution by default as a result of pixel binning. 4.8 micron pixels are combined into one larger one giving a 1.6 micron pixel size and hence the lower resolution. But you can also choose to shoot in 64 megapixel resolution and the file sizes are quite a bit larger. Around 3 times the size of the regular 16 megapixel pixel bin photos. The Lumia 1020 similarly shoots 5 megapixel JPEGs and only the RAW files are in full 38 megapixels of resolution. It shoots in 38 megapixel resolution because although the sensor has 41 megapixels, the active area of capture in 4 to 3 mode is only 38 megapixels. First, let's compare the JPEG straight out of the camera from both the devices before we dive into the RAW images. In terms of dynamic range, both these phones are similar. The larger sensor on the Lumia 1020 has good dynamic range by default and so does the XT. The XT has HDR mode to improve it further, but the Lumia 1020 was built in an era where HDR processing was not available on smartphones themselves and the HDR effect was something that you could achieve with post-processing as the processor and hardware wasn't powerful enough to process it in the phone itself during shooting. Naturally, as you would expect, the photos shot with the XT also have higher detailing as they have 16 megapixels of resolution and are pixel binned. The Lumia 1020 uses oversampling on its 5 megapixel photos, but it isn't as refined as the XT's 16 megapixel photos. So here the XT goes a bit ahead, but the true test will be in the full resolution mode later on during this video. Despite the smaller f2.2 aperture, the larger sensor on the Lumia 1020 offsets the difference and gives an inherently shallow depth of field compared to the f1.8 aperture on the Realme XT. Of course, you'll get a much better result if you apply a portrait mode on the XT, but that's the result of software processing with information from depth sensor and not just optics. In terms of low-light performance, XT exhibits higher level of detail and lesser noise in the JPEGs. When the light drops even further, the XT photos are better, albeit with higher noise levels, while the 1020 images tend to be underexposed. The Lumia 1020 was meant to be used either in Pro mode with manual settings or using its powerful Xenon flash in such conditions. Here are results comparing the night scape mode on the Realme XT to Xenon flash mode on the 1020. We also shot both the phones in Pro mode just to see the results and do note that these phones were tested against an object so as to prevent shakes when using the long shutter. Now for RAW. The Lumia 1020 captures RAW photos by default. Unfortunately, the XT doesn't capture RAW but since the photos have their own post-processing applied, we felt that it was justified to compare it against the processed RAW files from the 1020. We shot these photos on the XT in full 64 megapixel resolution. When you look at the process RAW files and the 64 megapixel photos on the XT, you can clearly see just how capable the Lumia 1020 is. Even though the Realme XT has slightly better sharpness and detail, the 1020 has much better dynamic range and overall is more capable and more versatile as a camera phone since it supports RAW capture also. This also means it allows you to tweak your photos further and create more dramatic looking scenes such as this one. So that was the camera comparison between the Lumia 1020 and the Realme XT. Now we have a few findings from this, the first of which being that the Lumia 1020 was a flagship back in the day and now the Realme XT is a mid-range smartphone. 
Now, of course, the 1020 still edges it on some aspects, including better low light performance, uh, you know, better dynamic range, etc. Thanks to the larger sensor, those results can be achieved only by truly processing raw photos uh, and using manual controls. And that's something not everyone is familiar with and not everyone is willing to do, at least in this day and age. So if you're looking at it that perspective, uh, many people would prefer the easiness and the uh, speed at which the Realme XT gives you usable and high quality photos. Now in terms of the software game, the other change is that there's no HDR, no other fancy gimmicks uh, and stuff. So it's, it's still quite difficult for most people to work with the 1020. And uh, the major thing that I think this video tells you is also that the 1020 was a flagship back in the day and this is a mid-range smartphone and the camera quality is not too different. So it's surprising to see how technology has progressed in these six years of time and how you have a smartphone uh, that you know is costing just around 15,000 rupees and still is able to give you the kind of output and image quality that the Realme XT is able to give. So it's definitely interesting times for smartphone photography out there. And apart from the main sensor itself, you also get other sensors which we haven't talked about in this because it doesn't make sense or it doesn't it doesn't exactly fair to compare it with the 1020 but overall you can see just how the camera quality is between both these devices and it's interesting to see where we are going in a few years time i think we will even surpass the quality of the lumia 1020 on mid-range devices as well and that'll be interesting days to come so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching see you again in the next one